Hey children, welcome to Passing Sure Looks Easy series. This is your 2020 edition. And this question, we are going to talk about the ring. All right, let's take a look at this question. The diameter of a ring is 9 cm and its width is 1 cm. So the diameter of the yellow circle is the 9 cm. All right, and the width of one cm where it comes from is actually like the metal. All right, the metal that is used to make the ring it can be a uh, precious metal like gold or silver. All right, so that gold or silver, right, the metal it forms the what? It forms the surrounding. All right, it forms the width of one cm. So the first part of the question they ask you is to find the length from A to B. And as you can see, from A to B, right, got what? Got four rings down there. All right, so you're supposed to find from one end to the other end. Let's take a look at this question in a little bit more detail. All right, so the very first ring, what do you have? Oh, can you see that on the right-hand side, there's this gap there? This gap is a 1 cm gap, right? So for now, right, for all the 1 cm gap, right, I will put a what? I will put a triangle to represent it. All right, so on top down here, you can see, all right, if there is a gap of 1 cm, I'll represent it with a triangle. I think it's a little bit easier. Okay, so now let me bring out my second ring. Eh? My second ring, right, got the what? Got a triangle from the first ring right inside it. Can you see? All right, now let me just quickly remove away my first ring first. Can you see? All right, so there's this triangle. This triangle is actually from the first ring, right? And this second ring, right, itself, there's a gap down there, right? Can you see on the left? Yes. So this gap, I represent it with another triangle. And this triangle represents 1 cm, lah. All right, so looking on top here, there's a triangle, all right? There's this gap of 1 cm too. So now, let me bring out my first ring to show you the overlap portion. So the overlap portion consists of what? Two triangles, right? Triangle, triangle. Is that okay? Okay, so now my focus is on the very first ring. Let's take a look within the two blue dotted lines. All right, so on the right, you can see what? You can see two triangles. Okay, so in order to be symmetrical, all right, symmetrical means what's on the right is on the left also. In order to be symmetrical, there must also be two triangles on the left. All right, so two triangles on the right, two triangles on the left, and in the center, right, let me represent with another shape. I represent it with a crescent. You know crescent moon? Uh, but it's like this shape. Lah. All right, so in order to form one full ring, there must be two triangles on the left, two triangles on the right and one crescent in the center. Is that okay? So triangle, triangle, crescent, triangle, triangle will be nine centimeter. Is that okay? So looking at the first ring, all right, having triangle, triangle, crescent, triangle, triangle, that will be nine centimeter. Okay, so now let's focus on the second ring. The second ring also must have triangle, triangle, crescent, triangle, triangle, right? So looking at the second ring, right, there's already triangle, triangle on the left. So what is missing? Yes, the crescent triangle triangle is missing. So I put it in. All right. So this portion will be the second part of the ring. Is that okay? So now I bring in the third ring. So the third ring on the left is also a triangle triangle already. All right. So what are you short of? Yes, you're short of the crescent triangle triangle. And this forms the third part of the ring. And the last ring, number ring number four is out. Okay. You also have the triangle triangle on the left. What are you short of? You are short of the crescent, triangle, triangle, and this forms the fourth part of the ring. Is that okay? Yes, you can see it like a pattern, right? This is actually like a pattern question. Okay, so now the question is, what is triangle, triangle, and a crescent? All right, one triangle is one cm, right? Correct. So if I can remove one cm from the left and another one cm from the left, nine minus one minus one will be a seven cm. So crescent triangle triangle will be a 7 cm. Is it okay? Because one triangle is 1 cm. Right? All right. You got two triangles on the left means must remove 2 cm. Lah. 9 minus 2 is 7 cm. Is that okay? So every time I see crescent triangle triangle, it means 7 cm. Crescent triangle triangle, it means 7 cm. And crescent triangle triangle, it means 7 cm. So the question say, find the length from A to B. So A to B consists of what? One full ring, which is 9 cm plus 3 7 cm. All right. So 3 times 7 is 21 plus 9 is a 30 cm. So that's your first answer. Okay. And this part A is very important because you need to know what's happening before you can go into part B. 
can. All right, so for part B, they say, if the length from A to C, or oh, even more rings, uh, ayo, is 198 cm, find the number of rings that is present. So what you do? Uh, remember the pattern? The very first ring is 9 cm, and the rest, right, being overlapped, right? You have to count it as 7 cm, 7 cm, 7 cm, remember? Yes, so this one has to be careful of the overlap portion. So what do you do? You always try to remove the odd one out. What's the odd one out? Which is the first ring. Lah. All right. So 198 minus the first ring that is a full ring of 9 cm. What are you left with? You are left with 189 cm. This 189 cm is the what? Is the number of the, the length of the remaining rings. All right. This 189 is the length of the remaining rings excluding the first ring. Is that okay? All right. And the pattern, remember? Uh, because of the overlap, each ring right is 7 cm, 7 cm, 7 cm. The crescent triangle, triangle. All right. Is 7 cm. So down here, inside my 189, how many 7 cm are there? Inside my 189, how many 7 cm are there? Oh, there are 27 of them. All right. That means there are 27 rings that are being overlapped. Huh? So these 27 rings, is that the answer? Remember to add back uh, the very first ring, which you counted as 9 cm, the full ring. All right. So 27 plus 1 will be 28 rings. So this question for part B, the number of rings present, there are 28 rings. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So this type of question is pattern related. So pattern right is not only about what in a in a table form, or maybe they form triangles like in 2019, all right? It can be in this type of format also. So you must try to adapt accordingly. Look at it as a pattern and you'll be able to solve the question after, all right? The examiners are getting more and more creative in this type of question. So you must also keep it up, all right? Be a little bit more uh, open to all these uh, uh, ways of getting the answers. Can and if drawing helps, do draw a little bit to uh, to help yourself see what is actually happening. Is that okay? All right, and this is Ben Ong signing off from 88 Tuition. And yes, there'll be more coming up. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.